right, we're back with another reaction for most hated anime characters of all time from Mr. Anime World. Guys, go give him a like, sub to his channel if you haven't, and remember, it's all just for fun and games, all right? Don't take it too seriously. Give it to me. Number one. Gojo... Gojo Satoru? He is hated only by his own creator and mangaka. What? Really? His manga? I hear that Jujutsu Kaisen mangaka actually does hate like Itadori Yuji as well. He's like hating his own creations. I don't know. Next up, Zenitsu. Oh, of course. Of course. Zenitsu is the most hateable character in Demon Slayer and it's not even close. But a lot of people, the manga readers especially, say, nah, give him, let him time to cook. And now we know. He locked in, right? He locked the fuck up. Here, let me show you this. I have the episode right here, right? He locked the fuck in. Where, 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 where is the scene? I think this is the moment where people realize that, oh shit, you know what? Zenitsu? She might not be that bad, right? So from this moment on, I think that a lot of people will start loving Zenitsu. But it's just like, how do you expect the anime only audience to care for a character if it takes fucking like five seasons for him to get good? Next up. Orihime Ino. Oh, hate level 15%. I don't know where people are getting these percentages. I think he's just coming out of his, num his numbers out of his ass. But hey, many people find her useless, especially in the Quick Mundo War. And that's true, because she is literally the damsel in distress. Kubo Taite can only write one sort of arcs, and people thought that Soul Society arc in Bleach was so amazing, and it was. But it turns out that's the only fucking story he knows how to write, where the girl gets kidnapped, and Ichiko has to show up, and Orihime is like, kurosaki -ku, kurosaki -ku. Right? It's just the same shit over and over again. It's fucking annoying. Bitch, get yourself out of danger. Or do something else. Oh no! Asha! Asha from high school TXT! Hate level 20%. She's considered annoying, although she has her fans. I thought that she was like a precious girl. I thought that she was so nice. Was she annoying? I can kind of see why people would think she's annoying, but... No, don't bully her! Next up, we have... <laughs> I don't even watch My Caveman Academia, and I know this anal beat ass, fucking great pair looking ass, is hated by like, everybody. He's like creepy, right? He's super creepy, right? Some people find his perverted humor annoying. Basically, like the lecherous pervert archetype. Next. Oh! You know what? Hot take! And let me read this Kikyo Kushida, Classroom of the Elite. Many do not like Kushida because she is two faced, and you know what? I had the same feeling too. I hated Kushida in the beginning because she betrayed us and she had a second, you know, a persona. I was like, this evil bitch. But the more that I watched Classroom of the Elite, the more I started to appreciate her. Anytime she shows up, the mood changes, especially when her different alter ego is shown or her real ego. And it's just like, she kind of has like the Frieza effect where, or like, you know, uh, someone shows up and you know shit gets real. The whole atmosphere changes. Kushida Loki, I think, is one of the better girls in class of the Elite. I respect her game as well. She is a very useful tool. She keeps the anime very exciting. And in the beginning, I hated her because I was just following mob mentality and how I felt betrayed by her. But the more I think about class of the Elite and what she has done for the show, she's a fantastic character. I actually love her. Next up. I haven't seen Neon Genesis Evangelion. Shinji Ikari. A lot of people hate him for his being useless and whiny. I, I know there's the common meme of like, shut the fuck up and get on the robot Shinji, right? So I see him crying a lot as well. But I hear the anime is great, but I guess the main character is supposed to represent like a young boy who is not ready for war and is constantly whining and people are mad because of that. Next up, Nier from Death Note. People hate him because he solved the case too easily that L couldn't. L is the guy that sits like this, right? He's the... He's, he's this sitting guy, right? Everybody knows who L is. But like, I guess that people are mad? People are just mad? They, they're just like, no, he's not our L. This guy is a phony. Is, is that what it is? Next up, we have... Takebichi! Not Takemichi! 
Take Bitchy, Tokyo Revengers. A lot of people think he's an annoying and constantly crying wuss. All right, Takemichi or Zenitsu? One in chat if you hate Zenitsu more, two in chat if you hate Takebichi more. Remember, this is who you hate more. Two for Takebichi, one for Zenitsu. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, that's a lot of twos. Oh, shit. Well, I haven't seen enough of Tokyo Revengers to know why he gets that much hate, but I guess he's just a weak-willed character like Shinji Ikari, huh? Next up. Mika Shimotsuki from Psychopaths. Shimotsuki was a season two of the biggest bitch all around. I... what did she do? She must have just been evil, huh? She must have like betrayed or backstabbed or did, did some vile shit, huh? This girl is more hated than Takibichi? Huh. Next up. Oh, Maiden Abyss Bone Druid. I think that this is, uh, I, I, I know a lot of people hate him because of the atrocities that he does, right? The experimentations he does, it's fucking monstrous. It's an abomination. But at the same time, Bone Daddy, he kind of has that aura, you know? He has that aura and charisma. Although he is considered a cool antagonist, he is hated for what he's did to his daughter. Absolutely. That whole elevator experimentation, bro. Well, actually, that wasn't with the daughter. The other shit was with the whistle. But like, bro. Made an abyss just tells such stories of despair and literally abyss that no other fiction that I've seen can get me to feel to. Then again, I don't go out of my way to find those works of fiction, but Made an Abyss, if you haven't watched this anime, go watch it, bro. It's gonna be a surreal experience. Next up. Haha! <laughs> Tompa! Hunter x Hunter. Just looks like a regular guy. Many people find him annoying. More than Bone Truth? Tompa? I don't know. I, I don't know when when we're ever gonna be able to watch Hunter x Hunter because my audience keeps me, you know, locked up in Shonen. It's, they keep me outside the Shonen animes. But all right, people hate Tompa. Next up. Oh yeah, absolutely. I can totally get it. Right, Maito, bro. This dude is a fucking menace. His kill death ratio is insane. Season one to season two. Oh my god. Like. He is one of the few characters, again, in these shonen shows where deaths are so rare that when he's in screen, you're thinking, like, one touch, it's over. One touch, it's over. This dude had me crying because of some character's death. A lot of people hate him for killing off their favorite characters. True. Next up. Akainu! That's a huge spoiler, but I don't think it's like a spoiler at this point, right? If you don't know One Piece by now, that's basically saying you're mad that Dumbledore died and, you know, fucking Harry Potter. Everyone knows why. Absolute justice. Akainu. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Oberon. Creepy-ass motherfucker from ALO. Sword Art Online Season 1 Part 2, bro. This guy sucked. Considered shit because of his abuse and poor treatment towards Asuna. Nothing like a season of sexual art online. You know, with sexual assault. Like, every fucking time, there's a creepy-ass dude, man. And Oberon, goddamn, he sucks. Next up. Kazuya Kinoshita. Oh. The main character from Rent-A-Girlfriend. And I'm telling you. Rent-A-Girlfriend reactions could be so peak, bro. You have no idea how much rage and just molding content we could have if we watch Rent-A-Girlfriend. He is the main reason why people avoid slash drop the series. Trash character. Next up. <sighs> Here we go. We got Gabby Brown from uh, Attack on Titan. Probably one of the most polarizing characters for killing Potato. Gabby. A lot of people. It, it's like, Some people love Gabby. Some people hate Gabby. Yeah, I know why you're saying Goat Gabby in chat, Coolio. Because you're the same motherfucker that says Goat Rachel in Tower of God. These are the exact same type of characters. Tower of God, Rachel, Gabby, Attack on Titan. Everyone fucking hates them, but there's also a small group of people that adamantly support them because it just makes a lot of people triggered. Next up. Oh, we got the most useless fucking female protag. Should I say the most useless female? No. I think she is literally the archetype of shitty female characters gone wrong in Battle Shonen. Dude. Sakura sucks. She is useless. She, like, I'm so glad 
that Sak uh, Sasuke left this bitch after knocking her up. You deserve the loneliness in your world. I'm so happy Naruto and Hinata are together and happy, while Sakura is a lonely fucking housewife that's just like alone and depressed. Fuck you, bitch. I hate you. Next up. I hate her! I hate her! I come and got killed, how could she? Koro is so cute. Koro is actually so cute. Right, her imperial relic, the dog, it's 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 cute. But like fuck. This bitch makes me mad. This bitch makes me so fucking mad, bro. Next up. <laughs> Re Brian, Dragon Ball Super. Most hated character in the tournament of power arc. You telling me this girl's an actual contestant? You telling me that she actually could win the tournament? She looks like Majin Buu. Not to say that Boo is weak, but like, maybe I shouldn't, you know, judge a book by its cover, but what the fuck is this character? Next up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I am intentionally. Okay. I know that some of the stuff is going to spoil. I, they're going to explain why they spoiled. I'm not going to read it. I have to skip it. This is not a spoiler. Not a spoiler. Okay. I, I can't read it. Okay. 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 Nina. <laughs> Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, we saw that last episode. I hate her after what she did to the defenseless table. Come, bro. She had a picture of Yuffie and she was grinding on the table. I'm like, what is going on right now? What is happening? Next. Makoto Ito, School Days. Considered the worst marrying character ever in all of anime history? Really? Is this an over exaggeration? Like, actually the worst MC ever? Next up! Shinji Mato. Heaven's Feel is where you really learn how just how horrible of a person he is. Fate series. Uh, one of these days, we're gonna be able to watch Fate starting with Fate Zero, I think. But, uh, I don't know. We'll be looking up for Shinji and how shitty he is, I guess. Next up! Zouken. Shinji is the way... Okay. So basically, a shitty kid got that taught by Baldi and they're all evil. All right. Next up. It's from an anime called Ishihara. Rainbow. Such a well-developed and spoiled character that you are imbued with all the negative emotions towards him. Uh, I've never seen this, but it's kind of crazy that this is like more hated character than some of the other ones that we've already been listening through. Next up. Griffiths. I haven't really finished Berserk. I know of it, but I hear that he is just a fucking atrocity, right? I hear that it is a fucking atrocity what happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Fuck this bitch. I hate you. I hate everything about you. I hate everything that you stand for. You can't even stand. Wait, wait. You can't stand because you fucking lied about being crippled. This bitch sucks. I hate her! I hope that we throw her wheelchair off the tower. I hope we carry up the tower, then Rack throws the wheelchair off with her. How is there a character that's even more hated than Rachel, bro? Who is this gonna be? Oh. Oh, that makes sense. I was gonna say Malty, but her name is actually different now. It's Bitch Melromark. Even her mom refers to as Bitch. Accused the guy of rape, robbed him, and made the whole country hate him. And there's- that's- that's tip of the iceberg. What Malty did is tip of the iceberg, bro. She is a fucking monster, but she's so hot. Dude, she's so hot. Her and her mom. Dude, the Melromark jeans are insane. And even though Malty is a bitch and I hate her, she created such amazing reactions. Like the season one shield your reactions that I have in my backup drive. I have it's not published on YouTube, bro. I'm like always yelling. Every time Malty shows up, I'm just yelling throughout the entire fucking reaction. That got me actually, those are some great Malty content. And in that same, you know, in that same vein, I guess I gotta appreciate Rachel for, you know, the moment where I start Malty, which is the peak content. Oh, oh, oh. Show Tucker, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Everyone hates him for what he did to his daughter. I think there's a dog meme, right? I haven't seen FMA, but I've seen enough of the fucking memes that's been around where it's like a dog and a girl and... 
One day we'll witness it in all its glory. And that's pretty much it, guys. Please go like the video. Go, uh, go sub to Anime World's channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.